Hi, my name is Lisa and uh, yesterday I cooked some hamburger, uh, lean ground beef and there was a discussion uh, regarding should I rinse the, the ground beef or, uh, or should I just drain the fat and uh, pressure can it. So this one, the beef has been rinsed so there's not much fat in it. Whereas this one, it has a light rim of fat and it was completely drained, but just not rinsed with water. So this is how I, I did it. Uh, both jars, the meat was cooked in a frying pan with salt and butter. No, no, excuse me, salt and pepper. There was no butter added. And then from there, uh, I drain in a colander the excess fat in a bowl. And I let it sit there for maybe a minute. And then from there, um, I took enough to do five quarts and I rinsed it in hot water. And then I let it drain again for three to five minutes to make sure that most of the water was all gone. And then I packed it in the jar. And when I packed it, I pushed down as much as I could. And then I put another layer and then I would pushed down again as tight as I could and I left one inch of space. Um, I did not add any water to any of these jars. It created its own juice a little bit. And then I wiped the rim twice with two different paper towel and vinegar. And this is because um, hamburger is very greasy and I'm using tablet lids and to make sure that I have a good seal I don't want any oil on there. And then I put them in, the, in my pressure canner and I process them for 75 minutes for pints. And my altitude requires to be 10 pounds of pressure. So today, what I want to do is I'm going to open these and I want to know which one is better. Is it better to just not rinse it and keep a bit of fat for flavor? Or is it just better to have it like this and when I heat it up, maybe add a little bit of butter? Well, I don't know, but we'll see. So we'll open it up. I have to, I have to get a, a knife. One moment. Okay, so let's open this up. Good seal. Smells good. Good seal. Smells good. Now this one um, smells better. It's just, I don't know, it smells more like a frying um, hamburger and that's the one that the, it was not rinsed off. Whereas this one, it smells more like a boiled hamburger. So I'm going to put some on the plate. The texture is uh, the same as, as I put it. I'm impressed with that because I was expecting to be you know, like boiled um, hamburger, it's kind of chewy and loses its texture. And with the fat one, it's a little bit more um, pinker, a little bit more compressed, as you can see. So I guess the fat holds it together. But the texture looks pretty much the same. I'm going to taste it cold. It's a little bit softer than regular cooked hamburger on the on the uh, frying pan, but it's not bad. Let's try the one with the the fat in. Oh, that one's much better, definitely. So, at this moment, I like the one that is just drained and not rinsed. May not look as pretty in the jar but tastes much better, has much flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit in each and I'm going to fry it up and see if it changes the, the difference. I'll be back. So here they are. This is fried up. That's the hamburger that's been water rinsed. And this is the hamburger that has just been drained, but there's a bit of fat. 
And so when I fried it up, this took half of the time that this did. As you can see, this kind of crispied up a little bit. I'll take a spoonful. And you can see it looks like fried hamburger. And the flavor, that to me, I compare it to original fresh hamburger cook as, as being fresh cook is a 10 I would give this a 9 8 or 9 this I'll just show it to you does not have those fried color it took like I said twice the time and it's crumbly it's drier still has a good flavor but you can tell the fat is missing. If you're a person that washes your fat, I can see this being good with season, like a taco or a hamburger helper. You could get away with that. But this is my favorite, and my husband likes this one. He says he, the texture is better than this. So those are my results. I hope it helps. And thanks for watching.